Bishops and Rooks is the best way to start learning chess, starting from zero knowledge. Later you'll learn about the king and all these pieces and how to play a full game, but I really recommend just starting with these two pieces and understanding how they move and just starting to play and having fun with chess. So even if you have played before, you might find this game interesting. You could play with a friend, a partner, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, a, a child, uh, that grandpa who always beats you. Chess um, is always complicated to play with someone who's better, and bishops and rooks and these mini games that I'm going to show in this video series are a great way to level that playing field and just start with the fundamentals and get a grasp for, okay, this piece is attacking this piece, and you'll get to see very quickly, um, and you can move on if this minigame's too boring or too easy for you, but just, just try it out. Uh, basically, you start with this chessboard, and you only have the bishops and rooks on it, as you can see here. Um, both sides take uh, a turn each, white starts, white moves, black moves, and whoever captures one of the opponent's pieces first wins. That's it. So if you haven't played before, these pieces might not be familiar to you. So a rook is this castle-looking piece, and it is um, moving in the four cardinal directions. So as far as you'd like, you take the rook and you slide it up, down, side to side, up, down, side to side. So from e5 here, this rook could go all the way over here to a5. If it's at a5, it can go down to a1, and then we could maybe go over and capture this bishop. So to capture a piece, you just land on top of it and take it off the board. You cannot move over pieces, and you can't go past your own piece, right? So I could only go up to c5 here, or I could um, take that bishop on f1. Um, so these are the legal moves. I could go over here, up there, or here. Uh, I can also stop short, of course. So that's the rook. The bishop is this piece that has a little pointy hat, and that comes from the Catholic Church, these uh, bishop uh, old white dudes have, have these pointy hats, and uh, chess pieces kind of replicate that with um, this little cut in it, the diagonal cut, kind of looks like uh, how those hats are. So that maybe reminds you that the bishops move in diagonal lines, so they're kind of X-Men. So this dark squared bishop uh, in the middle of the board could move all along that long diagonal and all the way back to G1 if you want. Um, or you can take take that rook. Um, so yeah, the light square bishop only goes on the light squares. Let me let me give a demonstration game really quick here. So maybe white goes bishop to g2. Maybe black says, oh, you're attacking my rook. I'm going to go down here and attack your bishop. White says, okay, yeah, this bishop's attack, so let me move it. And then I'm going to fork both of your rooks. And white should win here, because wherever black goes, even if black goes here, next turn I'm going to win one of your bishops. Nope. White goes and captures. Game over. So you can switch sides, try again. Um, if this, if nobody's winning, so with perfect play, this with perfect play, with perfect play, this game is a draw. So there's really uh, shouldn't be a winner if you're both um, moving kind of the best moves. And by that time, you'll pretty much know. Um, in chess, <clears throat> if you... So if you're making you know, 20, 30 moves and no one's capturing anything and you're getting bored, maybe it's time to move on to the next minigame, uh, Night Battleship. So 